Jonas, can you share some best practices um, about measuring your employer brand? Uh, sure, because uh, I think that's really important. Definitely when it comes to employer branding, there are a lot of um, definitions. If you ask five people what employer branding is, you will probably get very different uh, answers. Um, and I think um, in any field, data is very important, right? In order to prove your success, your impact, but also to get buy-in from uh, all the stakeholders you're working with. Um, but what I think makes data even more important than employer branding is it kind of forces you to define what employer brand success looks like because for different companies or for different situations it can mean different things um, for example it could be um, there is a big focus on the hiring need right you need more of the right candidates uh, you have a problem with your pipeline and it needs to be fixed or it can be more um, focused on um, creating awareness about your company, about your brand, positioning yourself as a um, employer of choice. So there's a lot of directions an employer brand strategy can take. Uh, it can also encompass everything, of course, uh, but every aspect of the strategy will have different uh, possible KPIs. Um, I think there are a couple of um, umbrella topics, so to say. Um, the first one uh, I, I would say is employer brand awareness, uh, which uh, you could measure by looking at uh, your overall social media engagement, uh, website traffic, for example, how many people are visiting your career website, um, what are people saying on your review sites? Are people saying anything? Like, are you there? Uh, are you replying? Uh, so measuring anything there, uh, but also surveys. Uh, if you focus on the internal employer brand awareness, right? You can send out a service to your employee base. Um, a second one um, is talent acquisition. Um, candidate quality, quantity, but also uh, candidate demographics could be KPIs you can measure, for example, if you want to attract um, a more, uh, more, more diversity in your organization, for example, you could also look into who is actually applying for the roles. Do we see that uh, we have a healthy mix of candidates? Uh, do we see that we have a lot of candidates applying, but not the ones um, that are the, are the right fit, for example. These are all things that can help you improve uh, on your strategy. But also experimenting with the job description, I would say, um, and looking at the numbers there. Um, for example, how many people visit your job description or read it? And then how many people apply? Like, what is the conversion rate there? Can you make changes to improve it? Um, and then, um, I also think um, employee retention um, and turnover rate um, is uh, like are, are very interesting things to look at as well. Companies do have uh, a healthy turnover rate. It's normal for people to sometimes leave an organization, uh, but it is interesting, I think, to to keep track of those numbers and to also zoom in on the reasons. Uh, why people are leaving. Uh, also referral rates, for example, could be measured. Uh, how many people refer other people to your organization could be an indicator of how proud people are of working in your organization or how willing they are to um, put themselves on the line in a way by referring other people. So um, this is this is a not exhaust, non exhaustive list of uh, KPIs you could use to measure your employer brand, but um, I think what's important to is to to really think about what is important for you in your strategy. Um, and depending on that, there were all there will always be ways to to define your KPIs. Um, but for me, it has always been helpful to start. Um, with defining the strategy, then looking at the KPIs to specifically align everyone in the company, because when everybody agrees on what we are measuring, we are also agreeing on what success looks like, which in a field of like employer branding, I think 
is uh, is very important.